All right, everybody, this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly post process your star images or uh, Milky Way photos. This is a photo I took in Elkhorn Campground. That's in southern Utah near Capitol Reef National Park. Lots of dark sky down there. And you can see that uh, the finished photo here, the Milky Way is pretty bright and there's quite a bit of detail. And if you compare that to the original, the original is not quite as impressive. You can see that uh, even at a 30 second exposure, uh, f4, 17 millimeters, the Milky Way just isn't as bright as I would like it in the final image. So I'm going to show you how. So I'm going to show you how I post process this image to end up with this result. Uh, worth noting here, I also did a little bit of lighting just with the LED light on my phone on these trees in the foreground. Just flash that light on those trees. It helped bring some interest into the foreground there. So we'll go ahead and open the original in Photoshop and run through some of these raw settings. Just kind of play around and see what you can get. Boost the exposure a little bit, maybe a little more contrast. You can see already how much that will bring out uh, the bright spots in the Milky Way there. Maybe bring up the highlights just a touch and maybe some of the shadows. And then I, I find that sometimes you can crush the black just a little bit and that will remove some of the grain in the black areas of the sky. I don't want to go too far though. Uh, clarity will help quite a bit with making those stars really look sharp. Sometimes you can boost that all the way up to 100%. Then you can experiment with vibrance. Maybe just a little bit. Saturation. And maybe even the color temperature. You can see what tweaking that will do to the night sky, to the Milky Way. I think I'm going to leave that about where it was at though. And we'll go ahead and hit open. And you can see already how much brighter the Milky Way is and how more impressive than the original uh, raw file. But there is uh, one more little technique I'll share. I'm just going to duplicate this layer, Command J, and then go for the Dodge tool. And the Dodge tool will brighten areas of your image. And we'll make sure that we're on a really soft brush, fairly large. Maybe turn the exposure down just a touch, and then we'll just sort of brighten these areas even a little bit more in the Milky Way. And really quickly there, you can see how that really makes that Milky Way image just pop. Of course, now that you're on a second layer there, you can adjust the opacity and scale that down a little bit if you want. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.